I'm Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. Alyssa Milano is an actress, mother, businesswoman, and philanthropist. Just like every other working parent, she has to keep up with the challenges and demands of a career, family, and trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Alyssa Milano joins us now, along with registered dietitian and chef, Diane Hendricks. They're both here to give us great tips on making smarter eating choices. Hi, Alyssa. What was your catalyst for making better eating choices? Uh, basically, for my kids, because I had a hard time losing the weight after uh, Elizabella was born, which was 16 months ago. Um, and the last, I would say, 10 to 15 pounds was like pulling teeth <laughs> to, mm. to, come, to come off. I probably would have had an easier time if I pulled my teeth, actually. <laughs> um, so, and, and also, you know, just... My energy level was super low. I couldn't get through a day without taking a nap, so I knew I had to make a change. Chef, what are the first steps to starting a healthy eating program? Yeah, I mean, in any type of new endeavor or any type of self-betterment, I think you have to take small steps to reach the goal that you're looking for. Mm. Because if That's you, good advice. Yeah, if you if you go from point A to point B, it's not it's not going to work because you're going to there, there. You have to have setbacks and downfalls. It's just part of achieving things. So I think just taking it a step at a time and really the best way to do it is to really start eating from nature, like lots of fruits and vegetables, fiber rich carbohydrates, optimal proteins like chicken and eggs and fish and healthy fats like avocados and nuts and seeds and just make sure those are the foundation of your diet and kind of build off of that. I think that's really a good way to get started. Since we're all human, what are your pitfalls to eating healthy? I have a sweet tooth. Really bad sweet tooth. Yeah, I have a sweet tooth as well. So, I mean, it's really, that's, I think a lot of people, especially a lot of women seem, seem to have mm -hmm. sweet tooth. So I think uh, balancing that and, and counterbalancing that with the right choices is really the way to go. It's all about willpower, motivation, and moderation. What are your favorite tips for eating on the run? It's, uh, that's a, it's a really hard thing to do, and I think that something that every parent can relate to is trying to find that balance and juggling all those things at once. But I, I think the important thing is to obviously take care of your own health, um, because a healthy mommy means a healthy family. Um, and also just be kind to yourself and know that every day is not going to be perfect, that you have to uh, allow for... Uh, things to not go exactly how you plan them to, to go, and, and that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And preparation and planning are really yes. important because the last thing you want to be doing is driving into one of those fast food uh, yeah, places. Yeah, you got to think ahead. Think ahead, pack, plan. I mean, there's, there's some great on-the-go things that you can do. Chef, can you share some of your favorite recipes? But well, right now, I just want to show you a, a day's worth of meals that I've created for Atkins with Alyssa in mind because I know what she likes. So right here, we have a stuffed portobello mushroom. It's a Mexican stuffed portobello breakfast uh, uh, yumminess. Yeah, yumminess. <laughs> Just a big pile of yumminess with um, turkey sausage and egg and some really great spices and cilantro. It's really good. Then we have a Waldorf chicken salad with a little bit of apple for sweetness and some walnuts that's in a lettuce wrap which cuts down on the carbohydrates. And actually I love using the lettuce wraps because it actually highlights the food that's mm -hmm. inside rather than mm -hmm. taking away from it. And then for dinner, this is one of Alyssa's favorites. We have the zucchini and yellow squash noodles that remind you of pasta. And we have some sauce. This is my homemade sauce, but you could also uh, use a jarred sauce, but make sure you look you get one that doesn't have any sugar in it or the least amount of sugar. Turkey meatballs that are absolutely delish and some shredded Parmesan cheese, da -da -da, and, some, <laughs> and some parsley. <laughs> so this is just really a really quick and easy dinner. <clears throat> and then we have the lemon, the luscious lemon squares, which are one of Alyssa's favorite sweets, and she loves sweets like I do. And then the Harvest Atkins Trail Bars that are really great for on the go, like you were talking about yeah, before. Yeah, like just grab and go. Grab and go, keep one in your purse, glove compartment. They're really great to have. So this is really, I mean, you look at this, and this is healthy eating in a low-carb lifestyle. And delicious. And delicious. How has healthy eating carried over to your family, Alyssa? We talk about all the time how great these recipes are because you can moderate, you know, you can uh, modify, sorry, uh, the recipe for the child, right? Like this, even though it's a vegetable zucchini, if you can't get your child to eat this, you make him regular pasta, you make her regular pasta. We have taco night in my house all the time and talking about those lettuce cups, you know, I, I put 
shells for them, like taco shells for them, and then I use the lettuce cups for myself. So you're not preparing two totally separate meals, you're just modifying, you know, a meal for your, for your child. Yeah. Where can we find more information on healthy eating tips? Uh, you could go to Atkins.com and there's healthy eating tips and all these recipes can be found there too. Thanks Alyssa and Chef Hendricks for sharing your recipes and tips with our LifeScript viewers. Thanks Thank you, Kristen. Kristen.